Hi, and welcome back to Product Profile. My name's James, and in this two-part mini-series, we'll be showing you exactly how to use the SonicU sound system software by Dynacord. In today's video, we'll give you the basic tools you need to get started with this powerful software. Now it's over to Arthur, who'll be guiding you through the process. Right, so the first thing we need to do is go to our downloaded SonicQ, launch the application. Once the software is open, you'll be confronted by this workspace. This is a big workspace in the middle. Um, you can zoom in, zoom out, uh, depending on the system size that you're creating. So this is where you set up, design and tune and operate your speaker system. And these three headings here, Setup, Tune and Operate, are exactly those menus and where you go to to do those functions. So we're going to start in Setup and we're going to make a simple two-speaker system with one C-series amplifier. So the first thing we do, uh, we're offline at the minute, so we can't see an amplifier, so we're just going to do it without uh, being online. So we go to Amplifier. Select L and C series. For this case, we'll take the C1300, click, hold, and drag onto the screen. Then we need to connect some speakers, so we go back to catalogue. Then we choose speakers. For this case in particular, we'll choose Electro Voice and the EVC range. And then in there, it gives you the whole range available from EVC. We'll choose the EVC 1082, 100 by 100, and in this case it gives us the option for full range or 100 hertz crossover. So simply all we need to do, like we did with the amplifier, is pull it across, drop it onto the workspace. We can create another one of these simply by using the shortcuts Control c Control v copy and paste. So we have our amplifier and we have our speakers. Then we need to connect the amplifier to the speakers so the amplifier knows in its DSP what it needs to do. So go to Connect and Setting, select Channel A, select our left speaker, select Channel B, select our right speaker. Now, when we go online to the amplifier, these settings will be loaded into the amplifier. You can adjust the input routing on all our amplifiers simply within SonicU by either highlighting the amplifier and adjusting the input or by highlighting the speaker. In this instance, it shows that there's an inconsistency because analog one is on one side and analog two is on the other. If you wanted to zero that, you click the inconsistency and then you can change them to mono, to analog one, or analog two. For this purpose, go back to the amplifier. We'll select analog one and analog two. The next menu is the tune function. So in here, we can set a preset, we can operate the mutes, we can change level, we can adjust delay, we can adjust an EQ, and this is where you would adjust polarity and obtain the signal generator on the IPX and TGX amplifiers. So just to give you an idea of how to save the preset, so you've loaded your speakers, and you want to save this because you've put uh, an EQ or whatever um, into the system and you want to save it. So we just delete this and we call this demo one. Then you have the function to load this into any of the, the user presets. So just use one. It will ask us, do we want to? Yes, we do. So user one, demo one. This has our speaker presets already loaded to channel A and B of the amplifier and it's ready to be powered on, powered off and the settings are going to be saved. To give you an overview of the level, 
So here we have the amplifier. If I control and swipe over the amplifier, it will give me the parameters that are changeable. So here we have a, a master, which operates both channels. And then you have two relative faders on the other side, which if you then see now, this actually relatively increases or decreases the levels. The same applies for the delay. Highlight the amplifier, and then you will see you have a master, then a delay for channel A and channel B. Likewise for PQ, you can have a PQ. You can have different filter types. So you've got low pass, high pass, high shelf, low shelf, and PEQ. Back into that. Um, here you can adjust the gain, the frequency, and the Q of the EQ that you put on. So to adjust the EQ, just turn on some of the filters. And here you can drag, or you can type the effects that you want to make to the system. If you want to revert to flat again, literally there is a flatten button here. Just click the flatten button and that will remove any EQ that has been added. Finally, we come to the operate section. In operate, when connected to the amplifier, this gives you the ability to mute anything within your system. It will also enable you to monitor the metering. So in this format, we have um, output, input, and limiter. And the same applies in the speaker then. Furthermore, in operate, you have a load measurement. So the amplifier will constantly track the impedance load of the speaker and the output of the amplifier. So this will give you a clear indication of if there is anything untoward within the system. If you furthermore highlight the amplifier, you can then set a tolerance for the minimum load and the maximum load. And then this will flag if those if those results are outside of the tolerance, then it will highlight a fault with the system. So that was a quick overview of the SonicQ operating system with a quick, simple two box speaker system. And that just about covers it. If you like the video, make sure to leave us a comment below and subscribe for more exciting product demos. We'll see you in the next one.